creep. You're a creep. I'm the creep. Yeah. You wank in your dad's van. <laughs> Welcome back to Wafflini! <laughs> We've got the boys and the girls. And before we start anything, okay, I know you're remembering that last week we said we're going to say a passage from the Bible every episode. Well, Theo reckons that this chapter five of our How to Get a Girlfriend Bible uh, is going to blow your minds. Well, right, mind, so here we go. This is the first time I'm reading it, so I don't know where this is going to go. But chapter five is titled... Putting her under your spell. <laughs> this whole book is creepy. Well, yeah. When you fall in love, you fall under a spell, which I think is actually quite Do true. Do you know what, right? That's I'm actually, actually going to be deadly serious. I think that is actually true. No, I, do. I agree. It's like you become in under this trance-like form yep. where your logic and your way of seeing things as they truly are, I think is deformed. We all have a, We all have a friend that will... Do things that are un, like not normal when they get into relationship. Yeah, or, or un, unlike or, them. Unlike them, yeah. exactly that. And even like what you said, where you've now like you left a long term relationship and you, you've come into another relationship, and you you like look back at the old one and think like, what the fuck was yeah, wrong? Like, I can't like, believe I was. Why did I do that? Yeah. But like it, it almost like transforms your way of like mm. you think. Oh well, maybe this is just how it is. But that's the case with a lot of things, like how we talked about in last week's, right? When I'm like, I didn't notice me changing and being like a quiet little loser. Right. <laughs> but really, I did actually blossom over the last year and I didn't really see it. Well, yeah, I mean, but the same same with me, like looking back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Looking back on like our Ibiza photos, which doesn't actually feel like that long ago. Yeah, you last summer, I was just... <laughs> Seek up. <laughs> cutting, <laughs> cutting my own hair relentlessly. <laughs> Out of shape, not healthy at all. And I just look at myself and like... ill. Yeah, I just I just wasn't well and <laughs> <laughs> just really not well. <laughs> just Ibiza. Yeah, yeah. Well, just that whole fucking whole yeah. of last year, basically. Yeah, but like, even if you pull it back to like... Uh, you know, and the, the year before that. You know, the, <laughs> like Wafflin's biggest ever episode, Joe Weller versus KSI. And you've got like... You oh, haven't you? cut your hair for ages. You've got like little whiskers. Hey, hey, like, no, no, shit. no, no, don't get no, don't bring lockdown into this because we all went through some weird phases in lockdown. No, but yeah, but <laughs> even like I had the phase where I completely grew all my hair out and I like thought now. I thought it looked yeah, yeah. You look like one of those you know homeless. The, the TikTokers of today. You like, know, you Bryce know how they all look. You know, like one. they all have this fringe that's Wait, like you, curly. You have like Bryce Hall vibes. Yeah. I can't help it. I don't do anything to my hair. Like we I get out of the shower. We can tell, brother. <laughs> no, it is a you bird. Do, you like, don't, don't wash it, right? No, the, oi, that's the trick. What? Oi, the trick. To, wait, 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 To anyone that has ever DM'd me about, Hang how do you do your hair? Just don't wash it. Like, don't shampoo your hair. You know what? I wash it with water. I get it wet every single day, but I shampoo maybe once a quarter. Mate, there are two. I know a couple of freaks that do that. Um, <laughs> what? Why do you think shampoo was invented? Well, it's clearly not doing a job for you, mate. Do you use it? Do you need to use it? My old no, no, that's not even me being a prick. That's yes, not the me. polish out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not laughing at that. No, that's not me. Uh, doing. In last episode, were you just lying when you said it? Next <laughs> you were, weren't you? Trying to make me feel better. No, like, no, 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 bastards. No, 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 no. I just do it to make myself feel better. Look, at the end of the day, I have two weird go. Weird, well, three now that don't wash their hair. They just get it wet. Who is it? So my old flatmate. From uni, and then uh, Harry Brown. Rot no, Rotisher doesn't do it. Doesn't, doesn't wash. wash. No, he obviously he washes, but he doesn't use shampoo. The trick is you wash. You wash every day, so obviously. Be because back in caveman times, they did not have shampoo. Yeah. So who the fuck washes the hair? Yeah, but getting it just wet, like just so it goes moist, <laughs> and then just <laughs> mold. <just mulch. laughs> you need to at least wash it through. Do you know what I mean? With water. Nah, at least. Nah, right. Because do you ever? Because uh, <gasps> I actually spoke to Tommy, our barber, about this, right? And he said, yeah, it's actually a thing where, like, shampoo can make your head... Because it, it strips it of all the, like, the natural oils. Right. So, like, it then doesn't it behave it how it normally does. So, like, he was saying this guy released, like, a really good shampoo called, like, I hate my hair when it's been shampooed. And it was to, like, try and fight how your hair is after being shampooed. Do you know what? That's actually an, in an interesting point. Because, you know, I was livid about, you know, looking back on last week's episode, I was like, my hair looks really greasy, right? In the lot... Okay. No, not right now. <laughs> no. In the last episode, I, I mean, I haven't watched this one back yet, but obviously I thought my hair looked fucking greasy. Like I hadn't washed it for ages and just, yeah. But I was using my mum's shampoo that has all these oils in. Oh, yeah. And it's jarring, mate, because they obviously don't want to put wax in. Because putting wax in 
already like oiled hair from yeah. shampoo makes it go shit. So guys, like listening to right, listening to this right now, what shampoos do you recommend for us to use? Because I actually want to get a new one for my mum's house so I can use it when I'm around there. I got one for fine hair. Fine hair? Yeah. You don't need that. No, your hair is actually thick. It's not. No, <laughs> the, the hairs are thick. The hairs, the actual individual hairs are thick. Like I yeah. can see each one. Whereas say yeah. like Luke's has got finer hair, just more of it. Do you oh, get me, son? I get you, I get you, son. Yeah, I mean. Did, did you never like, there used that... Alpacin? Yeah, I think it's a con to be honest. Do you know that, that just makes your hair go qu- grow quicker? Quir- yeah, it, my hair, really? I know, when I was using it for years, I, I kept getting haircuts, it kept growing. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck's going on here? Yeah. But you actually shouldn't use shampoo every day because that's how it kills your hair. What, and it falls out? Yeah, I use shampoo every day. Well, I've got so this conspiracy at the moment going on. Well, obviously, I'm taking creatine for the gym. Same. And there's the, the... You are taking it. Yeah. Yeah, there's the conspiracy of how it makes you lose your hair. Yeah. Now, the science behind it is basically... It's got something called DHT. DMT. I actually... Well, I need to look at the actual meaning. But basically, it makes your body utilise the testosterone in its body... In your body... <laughs> I, I, well, it does something, but basically... Through making it utilise the testosterone, it's something to do with that makes Not, the I, hair speak. I have, I have actually <laughs> heard this. The hair go brittle and fall out. But if you're liable to like genetic balding, like Why you are point? likely to bald anyway. Why are you pointing at me? <laughs> <laughs> Just because it runs in my family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're liable to it, it may speed up the process of you getting to that point. Well, I don't need to, I don't need to use these facades like creatine. Creatine's I'm, good, man. I'm natural. No, yeah, but no, that's not a facade. In, creatine's already in your body. You have creatine stores in your body. It just tops it up. And it means means that you can freaking lift and have more energy. What's the thing? What, but I remember at, at college, yeah. um, our teacher was telling us, um, you know, Chris, he was telling us, like, if you use creatine, like, it can drown. Who the fuck is Chris? You can drown. Well, it makes you store water. So you have to be careful how much you drink when you're on creatine. I mean, you, you have <laughs> you to drink a fuckload of water. But you, could dr- you could drown from the inside. No. What? Yeah, yeah. You could drown from the inside, so your body will like drown you from the inside. But to drown, you have to get it in your lungs, don't you? Wait, no, I tell you what. Some no, teachers facts. are well stupid. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't talk about Chris like that. <laughs> but like, what? Where, what? Either. what no, you it? can. You can drown. It's a, it's a proven fact. Obviously, I know facts. Yeah, but, yeah, but with everything, like if you did drink loads and loads and loads of water, you can drown yourself. But like, like creatine, creatine wa- is not going to be the cause. Creatine of that. Like, obviously helps to store the water, which will enable you to therefore drown. Yeah, but just storing it in your bloodstream. What? Where, how? What? How do you drown without it getting in your lungs? Like, what's going on? It you can't. Through, no, it absorbs through your lungs. Don't you just piss <laughs> it out. Surely you're just no, talking shit. Surely now. you just. I don't. I mean, I've heard if you drink too much water, you can eventually drown. Yeah. I actually have heard that. MDMA. But I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. People that that what? do MDMA. MDMA makes you that. not piss. Alcohol makes you piss. And it, and it can make Why you really you? thirsty or think you're really thirsty. There's one that makes you want to poo as well. Sorry. What the fuck? <laughs> no, what? I have a friend. When he does something, he always needs to go to the toilet. Back. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> so, are you saying? No, I have a friend. <laughs> okay, okay, but like, it's it's like with caffeine. It's it make it's a uh, it's a laxative, and then also they, yeah. they can't eat afterwards as well. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's caffeine quite- does that as well. Caffeine as well as like. Other drugs makes you uh, your appetite go, and I'm not entirely sure why. But that's why they say when you're cutting, a good thing to be having is coffee regularly, black coffee, because it doesn't have any calories in, stops your freaking hunger, suppresses your appetite. Uh, yeah, that's what I was looking for, and it makes you go for a shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've noticed now. Every time I wake up and I have a coffee, I don't need breakfast because I don't get hungry. I wake up hungry, I have a coffee. And then so yeah, fucking, I'm feeling this coffee. Yeah, I'm a bit of my fucking. Yeah, I, like, I really am. Are you, are you finishing I'm the ready Bible? For the, I'm ready for the passage. Yeah. Okay, he's going yeah. for the I've passage. Only actually, I've only read the title. The, the title remind us what it was again, brother. Putting her under your spell. Okay. When you fall in love, you fall under a spell, as we all know. You begin to do all sorts of things that the, <laughs> that the normal one would consider insane. <laughs> love and attraction is irrational, mm. but evolution considers it the most rational thing on the planet. Right, legitimate, because we're, <laughs> <laughs> we're all here because of it. Yeah. We're all here because of love making or love, you know what I mean? But yeah, you go crazy and irrational and insane. You do stuff that's so out of your character. We obviously all know someone 
who has another half that is batshit crazy. But before they got together, they weren't batshit crazy. So why is them getting together and falling in love making them do crazy things? Okay, so I'm going to give you a phenomenal answer. <laughs> no, I, oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Leg legitimate. Legitimate. No, I'm going to give you an answer here. It's basically, <laughs> when we start falling for someone, right, we start wanting to do things that's going to help them almost please be, be an ideal, ideal thing that they are going to want. As well as them, because we, we idolise them so much, we're falling for them. We want to almost be the yes man to make them fucking love us. So mm -hmm. we start doing things and making promises and being certain ways that aren't actually legitimate to our character. And eventually you will get to a point where you can't withstand putting on this facade anymore. Yeah. And it becomes exhausting. And then you're like, shit, what have I got myself into? I've promised marriage, a house, two kids, fucking this, that and the other. Like, you know what I mean? Quite intense things. And you're like... Oh, I keep looking at other girls. <laughs> like that's that's. But we're not talking about you. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about me. We're talking about that random friend. Yes, this whole the whole thing is not about me. No, we know. <laughs> no, no, but you seem like it is. And it's, it's not. It's not. No, it's really not. No, I know it's not. Well, boys, actually, this is <laughs> this is a perfect segue because we want to bring back Cops. your questions. Oh yeah. We're not talking the Bible. No, no, but this is all related. Fuck the Bible. This no, is no. related, right? So we've actually got a question from one of you guys sent in to ask Joe Theo at yeah. gmail.com and it goes like Okay. This. Right. It goes like this. <laughs> this. So I have a mate <laughs> <laughs> I have a mate who has been seeing a girl for a little over a year now. They were great at the beginning. Ooh. Then as time went on, I noticed behaviour. Uh, <laughs> that was Dodge. He sneaks off to parties and clubs and doesn't tell his girlfriend. He does pack it, Mandy, and all sorts without telling her. When they're drunk, they also argue in front of everyone a lot. There's also a rumour going round that the GF nearly cheated on a night out, but backed out. I think that the relationship is doomed to fail. <laughs> my question is, am I being a good friend if I say it to my mate, or is it none of my business? So and should I leave it be? Look, sometimes the truth hurts, but lies worse. And this man needs to hear the truth. He may be in denial. Why is he sneaking off and doing packet? <laughs> Why is he not telling his girlfriend that he loves the packet? First hand experience. <laughs> <laughs> so when you used to do that, what, no, what? I would never do that. What I'm saying is, this guy is being a good friend if he tells them. But I think if he doesn't say, "Look, buddy," from an outside perspective, your relationship's fucked. Then it's a bit like I get, I get the fact that you don't want to hurt his feelings, but also at the same time, the truth hurts, but a lies worse. But it can go down one of two routes, right? Like James Morrison. Because you could take, if I came to you and I was like, mate, I really don't think the two of you are working, you could take quite a lot of offence to that. But then on the other Ooh. hand, I could come to you and you could also like know it, but like you don't rationally like process things when you're a part of it all. Yeah, and this is where, look, from firstly, from your, as the friend, not in the relationship, the friend's point of view, you could be inheriting yourself a load of fucking aggro by getting involved, Yeah. right? So it, on paper, yeah, good friend, I'm going to help him all out here. But if you start doing that to every freaking friend you've got, next thing you know, you've got all this freaking crazy energy taking over your life and messing up your head. Do you think? Right? Yeah, now this. Yes. The other thing is with this, like we're saying this passage from the Bible, <laughs> we're saying that it uh, puts you under this spell, like Luke was just echoing there, that you, you are ir irrational and you're not thinking straight. And if you're head over heels on a girl, you may not even fucking listen to anyone. Mm -hmm. No matter how, like, what they're trying to say is, look, mate, I don't think you're, you're, you two are compatible. So mm -hmm. is it a case of you've just got to let them get on with it or do, as a good friend, you say something? Do you think if you did approach your friend and if they thought deep down that, oh, shit, he's actually right, that would they get angry at their friend or would they go the other way and be like, oh shit, that is Yeah, it's truth. dependable. Because I, I, I'd, I'd, I'd really like, if one of you boys came to me and said this, I'd fucking think about it and go, oh, shit, they must be right. Yeah, I think like, if it's someone right. close, close to you who value their opinion, yeah, if it's yeah. some random, it's like, fuck off. Yeah, but mate, also you're thinking, why do they, why, they don't even know me and they get involved. Mate, do you know what it is? It's like the comments <laughs> you read, uh, I read, <laughs> we all read on uh, Waffling that are like low-key true. And it's just like, Wait, what's that new comment on Waffling, the last episode? That, you know, that, that one that you got up? Could he get it up? <laughs> Quickly. Do you always go through the comments? You yeah, love sending the comments. No, in. this is you the do, first you time. You do I've no work throughout the week, and then when the episode's released, you send us all the comments. No, this is the first time I've looked at comments all season. So, so it goes 
It's the only one that's on my name in it. Oh, no. I wasn't talking about this one. I was talking about the other one. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. no, 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 because I know what you're going to say. Yeah, you're going to be yeah. like, so you get rattled by it because it's low key true. <laughs> no, 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 get up. Get up, but, get up. Oh, oh, you bastard. Now, guys, we've got a quick message from our friends at Harry's. Now, those of you, right, that love a shave, okay, obviously I do. You guys are more trimming lads. Um, can I ask you a quick question? Okay. When you are in sort of like a nice grooming state, right? You're freshly shaved. You've probably had a shower. You're feeling like you're looking after yourself. What does it do to your mindset, right? How do you feel? Because for me, like one of the most important things is like looking after myself. I know I get a haircut regularly. I do my shave and it just makes me feel class. Yeah. Right? Would you boys agree? I agree. Like you self pamper. I look great. Do I? Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now, what our friends at Harry's are providing you guys is a free trial set, right, of theirs. All you have to do is pay the three ninety-five pound postage. What do you get in the trial set, Joey? Basically, what you get is the Harry's shaver, shaving gel, and shaving foam, just free. For free. Right now, if you go to harrys.com slash wafflin, get yours. This stuff is expertly engineered it is unbelievable and we love it right get it now harrys.com slash waffling back on with the show right so someone commented saying so happy for theo from a shriveled young boy <laughs> two years ago to now a confident powerful man and his birds fit right great comment got 75 likes well you did say i'm a shriveled young man Ollie Bamba said, still got rattled by Tiki Toki. <laughs> <laughs> Which is okay, fair enough. We all did. But then Theo P, right, a guy called Theo P, he's commented, <laughs> commented saying, what we have to understand is that Teddy Baker is going through a transitional... <laughs> 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 it's that Teddy Baker is going through a transitional phase <laughs> 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 of, of gayness. <laughs> What that. is that even a I thing? I don't know. No. And he could be easily startled by strong men. Startled? <laughs> no, like a Pokemon. <laughs> is this in response to getting rattled by Diggy Doggy? A little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt that his new girlfriend <laughs> is merely a front to hide his gay feelings. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about this comment is it's so, like, Ooh. articulating. Like, he's really sat there and, like... <laughs> I wish him well on his journey of gayness. Do you know what the worst thing is? Is that this Theo Twat has every episode for this entire season written a paragraph. <laughs> like he won't let it go. Why does? So why? Why do you think that? Because obviously, like people do give off different. En <laughs> people do give off different energy, right? This is a thing I'm actually very like true about. Like people. I, I mean, I was having long conversations this week about what you expose yourself to. Like, you actually start resonating that sort of energy. So if you're living a toxic lifestyle, for example, you, you, you know, you, people will feel that you're not in, the right, in the mm. right place. You give off vibes, okay? Now, what I'm saying is, like, that can be translated through a camera, right? The, the, it can. Because it's like when you watch a horror, you get scared. You go, you're feeling fucking, energy gets fucking Terrified. Transferred. Yeah, so how are you transferring through the lens gayness? It's only this one comment, mate. There's <laughs> literally there's one comment. No, but what is that? What was what? Because what I'm trying, what I'm struggling to put into words is how, is how what is gayness? What well, is that? What is that? No, but that's the thing. Like, is it is is it just um? <laughs> is that no no no? What I'm trying to say is like. Hey, is this is this geezer just like trying to rattle you? Does he think it's banter? It doesn't look like banter. I think he's really trying to like be he's, serious. He's really trying to get like a, a train going. I think. Oh like, well, like he wants everyone to pick up on. Look this. at Theo P. Look at me, guys. Theo P. Yeah, but you no, know I, you have just opened the door for it. No, no, I just think it's a good. It's not even like, to, like take the piss. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not even a piss taking thing. No, like. no, because this could come across offensive, yeah, and that's yeah, not yeah, what we're trying like, to do. Yeah, and that's like genuinely, I'm trying to like. No, we're trying to understand. Real this in. I'm trying to understand why. He's writing these paragraphs and saying that you portray gayness. <laughs> what is gayness? <laughs> yeah, no. But uh, the whole waffling vibe is, you know, quite a fruity vibe. Yeah, we're very fruity. We're very expressive. We're very... But all of us are. So therefore we must all... I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know why he's singling you out. Well, the, the thing is, though, we, we, we've, done a, we've done a classic. Yeah. A classic in the YouTube space. We look at one negative comment, which not, it's not even it's a not negative. negative it's, not, no, it's not negative. 
But one negative comment, no, one not negative, not negative comment. <laughs> what are you going on about? Fuck. No, we essentially. One, basically. Politically correct. <laughs> Come on. One negative, non negative. Uh, one comment out of like hundreds. Yes. And we, we, we don't look at the other ones. What's the, saying? Theo's not showing. <laughs> I don't, I no. Don't. For example, there is also a comment that goes. Oh, here we go. Brilliant podcast. Oh, wow. Glad to see Teddy is happy with his new missus. Yeah, yep. we all are. Theo should call his son Ted. Ted Baker. Luke should call his son Aston. Aston Martin. <laughs> yeah, like the comment, well, the, the reception on this season of Waffling, I think, <laughs> well, <I'm laughs> Waffling, <laughs> has been the best out of every season. I haven't looked at any of the comments. This is the first time I've looked at you know comments, what? and that was the first one I saw. I read. <laughs> I, I no, I and personally sleep at night. I personally prefer it. Like I read my DMs, and so does Ruth. She got a DM actually from someone. Okay, go on then. Saying that's his girl, Luke's girlfriend, by the way. Yeah, boy, you're boy. quite fit. <laughs> I thought Luke's bird would be a fat, dusty heifer. Not gonna <laughs> lie, tell Luke I said fair play. Thanks, love. Fat, <laughs> dusty heifer. <laughs> oh um, shit, that's good then. How does well, she? It was like a, it was like a. It's a low key. It's compliment. a comment. Uh, a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but I have good. noticed, Luke. Um, I hate to always touch on the subject because you've been fantastic over the last few months. Every Sunday, you go, oh, Sunday's ruined. Ten out of ten. What? I didn't say that. What, what do you mean, ten out of ten? Yeah, you do. You do, it was Christmas. It was the Christmas episode, wasn't it? You, it ruined oh, the, your Christmas. The Christmas one because we got demonetized and it got like five hundred views in like four hours. Okay, just you to put it in perspective, ten out of ten means on YouTube you get like live analytics when you put a video out. And it rates, say, like, after an hour, it will say, your past 10 videos, after an hour, th have this many views and be in order. And obviously, if your, tenth on, your new video is 10th on that list, it's, like, the worst performing video in, like, the last 10 videos. Yeah, and then, great. I think for YouTube. Yeah, and then, and it's then awful you're like, for mental health. I'm look serious. Look how shit you yeah. are. <laughs> yeah, like, so then up. you look at it. So this was on Christmas Eve we put this episode out. And I thought it was a really funny episode. We did yeah. it for an hour and 45 minutes. Yeah. Fantastic. And then I, was, I it was just like, well. Yeah. See, and, and then you, because it gets your brain going and it's like, it's just like, oh, well, like, do people not want to watch us anymore? They love us, mate. They love yeah. us. At the end of the day, right? <laughs> People just, it means Christmas. People doing shit. Like, oh, I'm not going to lie. Like, I reckon it's hitting me. Some people have nothing to do Christmas Day for various reasons. Others aren't going anywhere near YouTube or anything like that because they're, you know, priority, it priorities. Did, it uh, did pick up to be. Yeah, I think yeah. as well, like, it just comes with uh, experience within the game. Like, I remember back in the day, I was obsessed. There wouldn't be a day that I didn't go on Social Blade. And was, it was unhealthy, wasn't it? That's it was, a way to see your analytics yeah. before YouTube developed theirs. It was so unhealthy. It was like it would affect your day. It would affect your hour. It was disgusting. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, and I don't know what happened. I just had like a click. And it did, I didn't care. Yeah. And that's the best way. You, obviously, you have to care. Yeah. So you have to keep improving. You keep going. But you shouldn't let it ruin. You, you can't let that ruin your real life no, day. Because that is not real life, if the, that makes sense. The like, Christmas one in particular, <coughs> like, that was, that was the only one I've ever looked at and actually thought, shit. Because it did, at first, it performed really bad. Like, significantly worse than, like, we've ever performed. We, Whereas, like, now, like, and normally, like, we've had 10 out of 10 videos. Um, everyone. I mean, it's ranking 10th, not yeah, 10 out of 10 really good. Yeah, 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 ranking 10th. And, like, you sort of just, I, you know, I'm just happy if we hit, like, our average sort of viewer thing every month. But it's, like, every week. But you, you come in to it, you know, we turn up every week and... I want every episode to be like yeah, the yeah, best. It's, yeah. it's like that. It. I still have like a sense of pride about everything. So like yeah, when you see it, ten out of ten. Well, you're like, oh. at the end of the day, what we have to rely on more than anything is word of mouth, right? Fuck what YouTube's going to do with its algorithm. So I think you know, rather than be like, I mean, we've established and the viewers know we we try our best and all that. But you've got to make sure the content's that good that they want to share it in the group chat. Have you seen this? Where Theo and, and Luke and Joe were so funny. And mm. they, sh you know, they want to share it for that reason. That when I first started YouTube, that is literally my formula was: <clears throat> I want to give people a reason where they can't not want to share this video. It's like rather because I for so long I'd make videos and tweet people and beg, please share my video, <laughs> please look at this, please. If you can't, like give them a reason where they can't, you know, even just looking at the title and thumbnail, they can't resist. But 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 they, but they can click on it. Like that's yeah, that's the that almost the level you want to be at. And, you get to that point from consistently making good content. So what our issue is as well on Waffling, we had a period of like series two 
it did go a little bit like stale. Is that last series? That's the one at the beginning of last year. The one where yeah. we did 15 episodes. We did 15 episodes and we, we ran out of things to say. <laughs> and that, where, that fucks it. And also, I think we're, <clears throat> we are very much different to every other podcast in the UK. I feel like we're very much... On our not on our own, but we're we're separated from the others because of the fact we don't get guests and we are we are the content. Yeah, we are the content. But I love that. I think it's fucking yeah. quality, and I think the Waffle Mafia love it, and that's what's so beautiful. Yeah. You did know you, you know you did get a message, didn't you? What a, about how someone can relate to your life? Oh, okay, right, bizarreness. everyone. I got a message just a minute ago, right, from someone regarding um, me, right, and. I, I said on, on a podcast, uh, I think it was two podcasts ago now, about getting the urge to just go... Nang, 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 nang. Right? Just a bit of like a, you know... Well, they, they <laughs> said it what? was like some sort of tick or Tourette's or something like that. I don't know what you want to put it, but we've had a, someone message in regarding it. <clears throat> and they said, I've got autism. Uh, mildly, the side of the spectrum that makes you genius and gifted... Like you, Joe. I, um, okay, it doesn't say like you. <laughs> but, 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 uh, he says, I have the same weird urges as you do, Joe. And all of the weird stuff you do and have done and come out with. Noises. Hundred emoji. And I can relate. Hundred emoji. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm small as well. About the same height as you. Small. But, but what we lack in height, we back up with mental and physical power. I believe in the spirit. Physical power. I believe in the spiritual world <laughs> uh, and the rest. I could even speak to. Oh fuck! No, no, no! I, I can wait, speak wait. to ghosts. Or what? <laughs> <laughs> I am the crystal ball. No, look. He said, "Can you split?" Yeah, Bucks and Army. Yeah, basically, he was just saying that like I shouldn't feel alone because. But is it autistic? Probably. Because my mum genuinely sits me down and goes, "Joe, mate, I think you've got." Some form of autism. But don't we all? Yeah. Because at the end of it, it's a, it's a spectrum, right? Hang, 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 hang. See, like then, I just got the urge to do that, but I did it. Normally, I get the urge to do that, but I don't do it. Why, though? That, you know what? I don't... <laughs> like, I want to do it all the time. T- I want to do yeah. Can you physically stop yourself from Scam- doing it? Yeah. yeah. Like, on. that feels quality. <laughs> But that's where like, I can be really quick-witted with jokes and banter because stuff just comes to my head and, I, and I, boom, really quickly. Like, like me as well. And sometimes it's weird going like funny noises, but sometimes you, you'll say something and it'll just, something in my head and boom. And it's like, how did Joe say that so funny and, and quickly? You might, be just, you might, <laughs> you know, you might just be too creative no for your own body. Your mind may be too creative for your own body that your body can't even handle it. I'm too much of a genius. <laughs> just too intelligent. Like Messi, Yo, you reckon example. Einstein was sitting there doing all that weird shit? <laughs> He's like sitting there going, <laughs> <laughs> Look, y'all. Catching the apple. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, did, he did invent gravity, didn't he? He invented gravity. Isn't that Isaac Newton? No, he, that was... that was Yeah, he, it's, uh, do you know gravity is just a theory? Yeah. It doesn't, you know it doesn't exist? Well, it's not proven. Yeah, it's not that it doesn't it's exist. It's not like, oh, factually, gravity is legitimate. I, I, I know where you're going. I know where you're going. This as well. Yeah, ninety-nine percent of science is theory. Yeah, exactly. But we consider so you're it basically true comparing until it. the fact that just because we can't see gravity doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It therefore, ghosts exist. What? No. Oh, you're thinking about ghosts, though, you mean? <laughs> I'm not checking. <laughs> Red free in your head. <laughs> no, no, basically. You take it quite personally, the whole yeah, ghost thing. Yeah. Well. It is a load of bollocks. No, no, no. I still think we should what? get a medium on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I think the ghosts, as as the image you've got of them, maybe bollocks, just little people but going, no, but like little hasbullers <laughs> going around. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, no, but think about it logically. Like, I, 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 There's a spirit realm, right, okay? And some <laughs> some of it's good like shit, some of it's bad stuff. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. There is, there is a realm, okay? That's a fucking... The world of Valeria. There's been... There's been <laughs> In the world of Raid of Shadows. Yeah, look at him take the piss, man. Look, look there's, there's people raging in the comments right now. Like, I wish that... Good. Dork. Let them rage. Make that, make dork. Me, make <laughs> think about... Like, okay, I understand. I get your point of view. There could actually be spirits, and like we could all be like little ghoulies running around. <laughs> you're but fucking... You're when, so <laughs> when you die, okay, what your brain's going to... Like, your soul will come out and go... Ooh. No, maybe I'm gonna not. take. I'm gonna take it's a house. It's not like fucking Scooby Doo, <laughs> though. Like, it's not just like, oh, we got him, like phantoms and shit. It's Do you become like, part of the furniture. 
Oh, look, you just mock it. Do you, know, do you know what, mate? Where do you, do you know sleep? What, right? people How would, do you go to sleep? Just listen, right? People would really enjoy us to talk about, like, conspiracies and spirits and UFOs. People would love that conversation, but you can't fucking entertain it because your <laughs> fucking puny head's too <laughs> small. You're fucking dork. Rent free. You're out. What's rent free? You're a fucking dork, mate. <laughs> No, I'm living. Fuck off! Oh, so it's the one who Ooh, believes in ghosts. Square eyes. <laughs> you're a fucking geek. Well, so it's the one that believes in ghosts. You believe in the spirit realm. No, I have the capacity. What is the spirit realm? That sounds worse. <laughs> Just say you believe in ghosts. I have the fucking capacity to have an open mind. On so things. bigger door. You're a fucking little <laughs> co- comic book collector. You creep. Fuck off! Creep! You're a creep! I'm the creep. Yeah! Are you wanking your dad's van? <laughs> <laughs> I'll slap you across the jaw with it! Oh, I don't give a fuck, right? I, you're a little wank. You're a wanker. You know, because why? Right, yeah, yes, I've done that multiple times. But like, it and looked t- up. Looked up. Y- your hairdresser's skirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I've done that. But like, I don't, I just think like when it comes to those really interesting topics, that it would be good to be able to have an open chat. But all you do is just mug it off. Like you can't be open minded to anything that's out of your brain's capability. Wait, that's why so I really fucking dork. I really think we need to get a medium on that can like. No, but that, the- he's, he's not going to believe them, is he? Nah, he's going to be, like, be laughing at them yeah, the whole time. Imagine, like, oh, yeah, of course, mate. <laughs> but imagine if, like, they're Fuck sitting off. here and they're like, oh, Theo, do you have, like, a grandma Anna that died three years ago? And he's there, like, yeah. I'll be like, yeah. like <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but if they get something right, right. You're just scared to believe it because. No, you mate, would... no, no, I'm open to believing oh, right, it. Just, mate. But just prove it. Prove it. I'll yeah, prove so it. that's what I'm saying. If we got someone here. Come, mate, prove yeah, but, like, that's like saying. Prove that Wi Fi is in the air right Mate, now. Wi Fi is in the air. You can't see it though. I can click on. I can go on my phone and connect to it. Yeah. Can you okay. go on your phone and connect to a ghost? <laughs> Not your phone. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Mr. Ghost, are you there? <laughs> You're dressed as fucking Spider Man, you cunt. <laughs> <laughs> can't think of a comeback. <laughs> no, I can't. Sorry, I'm not going to stoop to your shit level. It's shit. Do you know the worst thing is? What? Is that because you like to take them all high ground, the comments... I don't take any more comment, high the, No, the comments will be like, you're... This fucking bellad, he just needs to open his mind. Why can't well, he just no, open no, his no. mind? All the comments right now are slating you. <sighs> going, Theo needs to fucking well, open his head. Sorry for living rent-free in everyone's head. <laughs> you know what? Mm. <laughs> what, so just because people disagree with you <laughs> means that you're in their head? At the end of the day, look, everyone's entitled to their own opinions. Yeah. And I'm just expressing my opinion. So you you can't say my opinion is wrong. Yeah, but I can I can uh make you my can... make a view on the calculation of your opinion. Like where is what's it based on? You just shut everything down before you even give it a chance. Like that's why I'd love to ha- entertain these conversations, but you just mug it. And yeah, it's funny. Yeah, you get a <laughs> laugh out of Mate, a fucking boy. You you held a stone that gave you a boner. And you said what the crystals? And you said the crystal stone is to it's the, it's the love making stone. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just held the girl's hand and you got a boner. I didn't hold her. I, know. I didn't hold her hand. Yeah, I held a crystal and I got a rod on. Granted, right? <laughs> and the lady comes up to you. It's the love making stone. She can see your boner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, that's true. Now, guys, do you love a cup of coffee? Indeed, I do. Yes. Oh, so do I. <laughs> now, our friends at Grind have done something completely game changing. Right, normally you get your coffee stuffs in plastic, non-sustainable ways. That's right, but how are Grind different? So they make compostable pods. What? Right, so rather than them just going in the landfill over and over and over again, compostable, disintegrating. Oh, mate. Right, so great for the planet. Legitimately. Well, they're actually carbon positive rather than yeah. carbon neutral. That's right, a lot of places actually like sort of boast about being carbon neutral, but mate, Grind are carbon positive. That is correct. Not only that, but these pods are compatible with Nespresso machines. Oh, class. Mate, so I've just moved in, obviously, to a new house, and they kindly sent us some product, and the coffee is actually top tier. It's and elite. that is what you want. Good tasting and good for the planet. And what they are offering you is your first 30 compostable coffee pods for a fiver, right? And a pink refillable grind tin. When you go to grind.co.uk and use the code wafflin at checkout. That's over 60% off the perfect cup of coffee at home. 
All right? Grind.co.uk. Use the code Wafflin. Back on with the show. You're telling me, uh, <laughs> hanging around with certain people, do you get certain vibes? Right? That you can see them. They're real. You can fucking you prove that they're real. Do you get different vibes from hanging around different people? Yeah, but do vibes come from them being like, if you're hanging around someone, you're like, fuck, they're a cunt. No, <laughs> Isn't no, that but, just no, due to how even, they're being? No, but not always, mate. Like I've been around people that are like sound. But there's something about them that's just not making... I feel a bit jarred off around you. Do you but, know what I mean? Like, and Have you ever had that? But is that not you yes, within no. rather than them? That's your own gut feeling. I'm like, oh, yeah, I get a based, weird vibe. Yeah, but based on else... being around them. Okay, I get what you're saying here. You get. Have you ever had that is what I'm saying? Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, so when it's something's like, not quite up with someone. Yeah, it's like, you're like uh, are you, uh, I don't know, you just don't feel quite right at ease around you. Now, why? I can't, I can't put my finger on it. Well, but then I get... <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Huh? No, you're gone. Um, but then again, someone else might come and meet that person and have the complete opposite feeling. Well, yeah, yeah, obviously. That's based on the, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's your own. Yeah, of course. It's not the but, person. Energy, it might not be the energy they're giving off. It's the energy you're feeling within. Yeah, but based on. Yeah, but me plus them <laughs> equals that. But you plus them may not equal you having that feeling. Granted, but that doesn't mean. There's no one. Not a matter of like, this person is bad or this person is good. It's just that, like, for me. And my, what I need, what my, me as a being may not work well with that type of being. Do you know what I think would be interesting? We, I, I definitely want to sit down with, you know, like a, a mind reader or like a, um, oh, you, mind <laughs> or like a, you know, a, a ghost hunter. And you're I wanna, with one. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> but do you, believe you know the ones that go, do you have a cousin called whatever? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I need someone like that. Do you believe in that stuff? Like, can a, a psychic? Uh, I've never experienced it, but I'm open to it. Because I watched a show what? called uh, Don't Rock the... No. Don't Rock the Boat. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's called uh, Blow Deck. Have you watched Blow Deck? Blow, blow Deck. And, <laughs> blow <laughs> <who> off, mate. <laughs> no one said blowing. <laughs> you were blowing cock. You constantly talk about that. But anyways, I was watching Blow Deck, banger. And they and they, it's all about like they're like working on a cruise ship and they get different guests and they had a mind reader lady come on yeah and uh, the the person wanted to get their mind read <laughs> why, why else would you get her in so no just the one of the crew members like oh I'm gonna sit down with you and you can read my mind okay yeah. everything she said she's like a world renowned mind reader yeah and everything she goes he goes no. <laughs> No, <laughs> everything. Just, no, you're wrong. And no. all her mates are like, "Oh, you're not a fraud, are you? Is she a fraud? Like she's a millionaire. No, she's this a, is. I think like she's a multimillionaire. Sold worldwide books for being a fraud. A no, lot of people. Like take. I want. I need someone to sit down with me and prove to me. Read your mind. Read my mind. <laughs> Go on. If you if you yeah, sold what, a book about, about like reading mind, Darren Brown. He's a trickster. He's a trickster, though. Mate, oh, I'm sorry. He's <laughs> fraud. Kids. Trickster. No, Darren Brown, Darren Brown's class. He, he doesn't go and... You know, he, he's not out there saying... Like, with, the thing with Darren Brown, when he goes, I can read your mind, we all know that with Darren Brown, there's always something behind how he's doing it. Do you get what I mean? Well, you can plant a seed. Like, if I... Yeah, yeah I could plant exactly. seeds in your head and without you realising. And a lot of the time, he will go on to explain how he's done it. Mm. And I think Darren Brown is completely different to someone who sells a book about reading minds and being like yeah. a, prophet, a prophet. That's the thing. I think a lot of those individuals take make all these prophets and, like, ride off the fact... They ride off people's hope. Yeah. Like, they want, you know... Okay, sorry, but there's been fucking <laughs> clear... Like examples of when a clairvoyance or whatever a fucking psychic has helped the police solve a fucking crime that they where there's no way where that person would be able to have known the information other you know what I mean? There's bit there are cases where psychic behaviour <coughs> has fucking legitimately occurred. Well can you bring guess. some evidence but then, but then, to the next episode? Okay. Send in some evidence. <laughs> if anyone can find some, I'm gonna do some research. If you would like to as well and help this debate, if you back it then that'll be good because, yeah, I think some people can then see it and go, oh, we can make some money here and take the piss with it. But I reckon, and and then that clouds everyone's judgment and they just completely generalise all of them as being those crooks. But I th I reckon there is something in it. What's your opinion on carrot readings? Carrot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. Tarot card readings. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, carrot. <laughs> Carrot, carrot reading. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you said it with chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is your opinion on carrot? What are you doing? Look, I'm not being funny. What? They sit in a shed. You s- <laughs> and they pull out a deck of cards and go, yeah, we're going to die on this day. No, they don't. That's they, not all they do. They, they predict other things. So my mum actually went to, to, to one um, and they said to her, you're going to meet someone over a screen. This, even before, this was years ago. So she, And she met my stepdad online. <laughs> and whoa, whoa, whoa. She predicted a couple meeting online. <laughs> this was like in the 90s, mate, when that wasn't a big thing. Wait, there wasn't like the internet then in like Yes, but it was fucking like Windows fucking shit. How did they meet online when there was no dating app? No, she saw the tarot card person then, and then in like 2000 and something was when she met Phil. Wait, so what, this this whoa, little whoa, whoa, reader whoa. was like saying, oh, I'm getting the internet, and then, like Jenny's like, what's that? Like, <laughs> the internet understand. was around. <laughs> it was just, oh, no, it was just over a screen. That's what it was Mate. told. And then it was other things. No, there was a few. There was a few things, and she was like, "Mate, they've all come true." What about the ones that didn't? <laughs> no, no, all the things that she had, it was like three main things. <laughs> you couldn't remember the ones that didn't come true. It's so happened. easy to mug something off as being, "Oh, we below the bollocks." It is. Like you can actually take anything. You can take anything and actually make it sound ridiculous, like it could never happen by by making a joke of it. I could read your future right now. Well, you're not really taking in what I'm saying. No, I, I know, but this is this horseshit. <laughs> no, you're fucking no, crap. But... You're crap. <laughs> you as an individual are crap, it's mate. So jarring, so many people right now. But mate, you're, think about it. You're just shit. I don't know what that means. Why is it red? Oh no! Don't tell me it's not recording. No, it's recording right there. No, yeah. Why is that red? Normally that's green. Oh, I think it means maybe we've got three hours, five minutes left. Yeah, three hours, four minutes. Yeah, okay. But what, okay. Anyway, sorry. We're just looking at the uh, the numbers of the recording mixer. Joe. Yes, brother. Here it is, okay? Oh, God. In 10 years' time... I'm going to have a big cut. <laughs> no. Definitely you not. You would have gone on a date from being meeting someone online. And in 10 years' time, <laughs> if that comes true... <laughs> yeah, wait, know. in fairness, did she say you're going to meet someone through a screen? Yeah. I need to no. get her exact words on it. <laughs> but basically, tarot card readings, I don't know if that's a load of bollocks. I've seen someone, right... Um, the same girl as the, the, the game of the crystals <laughs> <laughs> came down here with a bunch of tarot cards. <laughs> Mate, Conning you know, and she, living. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't paying her. No, she, well, she, you bought she, the crystals she, off her. No, no, I didn't buy them off her. Listen, she would just like shuffle the deck of cards, and when one just like pops out, it's like, oh, this is this means something then because it's popped out. But it's like if you just fuck it a little bit, it just like it comes out. But what and what, what he would say is like, oh yeah, boom. We're in love. <laughs> oh, we're gonna be together forever. <laughs> like, it was Mate, just like, it's exactly the same as a fucking like cracker. <laughs> like, what are them? What are them? Oh, you know, like, like it's a fortune cookie. Yeah. Mate, you, you paid for a fortune cookie. <laughs> you get them free of your fucking Chinese. Oi, like, boys. You know what I mean? And it will tell. It will tell you you're gonna have a great year, right? I'm not gonna lie. I think cool. we've got content here, right? If we just we get together one day, we go get a reading. I don't want to get a reading. Why? I'll get a reading. I don't want one. No, I want based I, on. I don't want them to fucking tell me anything. Mate, I I reckon you and me go. So right? you're gonna let me go. You're gonna let some random woman or man basically just affect your life you forever. Genuinely believe it will determine. Mate, so you your think life. this this random guy who don't know you says to you, mate, you're dying in a year. Well, mate, there's been cases where people have actually... And there's probably been a shit. fucking million other cases where it hasn't. Right, okay. Coincidence. If you, if you want to do it, do it. But I'll do it. Don't I fucking re- attack me, son. <laughs> I'll fucking <laughs> smash your head in. I reckon. It's true, though, isn't it? Like, don't shiver, mate. No, I'm just scared about the comments I'm going to get. Scared of me. DMs are Malfoy, we're, we're, we're doing it, right? You and I are going to go get a read from someone in the local no, area. No, I want them to do it on camera so when they get everything wrong... Yeah, well, Weller can film us because oh. he doesn't... Well, okay. you said you didn't well, want to well, get Can I on. be there? Yeah, not yeah, yeah. on screen? And not laugh. Well, we can get a cameraman Why don't we day. all have cameras? Yeah, well, I was going to say, if we all go together, we can take a cameraman with us, we can come back to Waffling, review the footage, and see what it's right. saying. Okay, well, that's another thing that we... Who's, uh, oh, shit, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, that was awful. No, speak, speak, speak to your mum, like... 
My Who? mum? Well, clearly she's got a good time. Yeah, but that was <laughs> ages ago. That was ages ago. It was fucking 20-odd years ago. Yeah, but they're it's still going to be in business. Oh, you're all cocks. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll, we'll arrange around. that, but like, we do make up things that we're going to do, and then we never do them. We've done that so no, many I times. I really, really, no, really want... We never do that. No, we should get a mind-reading person... Shut the fuck up. ...on the show. <laughs> no, on you... the show to, I want to hear their perspective, like... How did you get into this business? You're not performing Robbie A.E. Williams Angels at my show. I'll let the people decide that. No, you're not. You're not. If if we get a mind reader on the show and they can predict the celebrity that threatened to have you killed, (laughs) then I will give them all of my waffling proceeds. Okay. Then Including your house, your new house. They can have the house. Okay, okay, interesting. And my car. Okay, okay, okay. And okay. Roof. If they right. can, if and they... roof. Okay, okay. No, 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 okay. Let's do it. Let's do that. I'm, I mean, I'm open to it. Let's find someone. Let's fucking do it. Film it for waffling. <clears throat> Mate, at the end of the day, aren't we all tarot readers? When you place a bet on Sky Bet, like all you're doing is just, <laughs> you're all you're doing is just hoping. <laughs> Mate, you're placing a bet. <laughs> Mate, you are placing a bet. Yeah, but in fairness, you're if, they pull out chances, a, if they pull out a card that says you're going to die, they're probably not hoping that you're going to die. If you're a stunt driver and you go for a tarot reading, I guarantee the tarot will go to them, you know, the high probability that you'll injure yourself this year. <laughs> Obviously, you're a stunt driver. Do you know what I mean? It's that, that kind of vibe. Yeah, but you're going for the very stereotypical shit. You're giving it no thought or credibility. I'm biting, admittedly. But, like, it's... it's you're very hateable. <laughs> like, you're very, like, everyone is commenting. Let them comment. I know I'm going to comment. <laughs> Watch me comment. <laughs> you fucking bastard. Yeah. You wanker. <laughs> Why are you upset me? Do your scratch card. Theo, like, here we go. Here we go. So this is fortune cookie in. I predict. You, you've bought a £10,000 scratch card. Ladies and gentlemen, if he wins, he's going to send each and every penny of it to you guys individually do you know why i bought this why because i had to buy something when i got cash back well, that's gonna sound nice on the mic isn't it yeah, let me just do it down here yeah right so theo's right. just gonna scratch out his wins do you buy scratchies Never. i buy scratchies all the is time anyone anyone listening or watching right now have you ever won a scratch card like over a Ma- hundred quid oh one two quid oh yeah yeah that's what i'm saying like the two quid ones is uh, conveniently enough to go and buy another scratch card like but have you ever won like you know semi big on it? Because if I was a, if I was a tarot reader or someone who could predict the future, it's tarot. Why is it tarot. <laughs> why is it got a T at the end of it? Because it's fine. <laughs> it's your <laughs> horse. Um, I would just predict the lottery numbers. You just. She makes a fair point. Like if you are, if you can like predict the future, why are you not just like what are the lottery numbers next week? It's true. Like you pick and choose what you can predict. Yeah, but you have to feed off someone's energy. Feed off the fucking TV lottery numbers. <laughs> well, you can't really do that, can you? You have to literally be there. They don't just do it over Zoom, do they, cunt? Well, they need to... They I mean, need it's, 2020, it's 2022. They need to move the times. I predicted that I wouldn't win. You predicted that you wouldn't? I predicted that I would not win. And, <laughs> Joe... Yeah? It is confirmed... Yes? Oh? That... <gasps> I did not win. Let's see. I think. Double check it, please. I did hit the triple, but I didn't win anything. So triple. Therefore... Yeah, no, you got nothing. Am I a tarot? You're, you're not a tarot reader. You're just a belly. <coughs> you um, Here's one for you, lads. Go on. This comes from a guy on Instagram. Mm-hmm. My girlfriend is bisexual, but always goes on about how much she likes girls so much. Is, is this a is red this flag? Is this your bird? No. If she comes in and goes, Malfoy, I want to introduce another girl and have a threesome, what are you saying if your girlfriend said that to you? Come on. No, I'd be like, oh, I, th- I thought, I thought, am I not giving enough here? No, 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 I want to see you enjoy the both of us and I get off on it. Like That's what she's saying. Like, what are I don't you know, doing? man, I'd have to find myself in the scenario. I don't know what I'd say. Okay, so you're in the scenario. What Basically, are you he'd say yes, but no, he I doesn't want to say yes on camera no, because Jody might watch you and think, oh, you want to have a threesome with no, another girl? I know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I would say no. I actually, if I, I genuinely love would, someone, I don't think yeah, I'd, I would I'd say be into no. that. I would say no because I don't think I could bring myself to actually, like, penetrate another person. Person? Do you know what I mean? Like, you know how those... Who was it? Who was you say it? <coughs> that had gone to, like, a... Oh, they were got paid to watch someone have sex? Oh, yeah. Amsterdam. Oh, I did that in Amsterdam. No, but it was just... What? Oh, yeah, so no, did no. You. no, no, we no. We were all there together. No, but I'm pretty sure... And I... they weren't having sex, though. It was just a... Oh, God. No, oh. yeah, when we went to one of the peep shows. Oh, the peep shows. Yeah. No, no, this but was But why did you stay in there for, like... 
20 minutes. Because I accidentally put double the amount of money that you're meant to. Accidentally. Yeah, no, legit. <laughs> no, I but did. the next one that came on was nice and then it ended for us. Who was you talking about? <laughs> who got paid to have sex? Who were you talking Not about? Not who, sorry. Who like, was what was the story with about? that? Like a delinquent now. Awesome. Um, no, I was talking, I said, I've t- I'm pretty sure I told this story on oh. Waffling. Okay, well, in that case. Where basically, no, he just. Um, Not a cruisy or something. Huh? No, no. Can I not say the name? No, it was Glenn. Oh, yeah, Glenn. He, did, he yeah, didn't yeah, do yeah. it, but oh. he got offered to, like, go Have and a watch. him. No, no. He wa- he got offered to go and smash this geezer's what? missus while he was watching. Cuckold. Yeah, and they so were into that. How do you know that? I wouldn't know that if I was you. <laughs> what? Have, oh. you made, have you had intercourse in front of someone? Of course. Yeah, who, 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 but yeah, but no, no, who's like wanked over you? Not wanked. Well, that's not the question. <laughs> it's different to what you was. Well, that, no, that's what he. What? Why are you going red? I'm not. It's my t-shirt. <laughs> it's his spidey just being mask. Seen. No, oh, but yeah, that's what you said. You said your friend got asked to have sex with this person's wife, or he would sit in the corner and wank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, have you ever done that? No, no one's. Been, I'm not. As far as I'm aware, no one's been like self-pleasing themselves as I'm making love. I don't believe that. Okay, right. well, do you think it's a red flag that his bisexual girlfriend always goes on about how much she likes girls or not? That would worry me. Um, oh, well, back to the question. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you know, I mean, <laughs> well, that's that's something you're always in a, in a relationship where there's a bisexual partner um, involved. They're, they're always going to be attracted to any, not anyone, but any, any no one's just uh, really off limits. Anyone is a potential partner or, or an attraction, so it could... In height, heightened paranoia. Mm. Is it a red flag? You know, nah. But is it not the same as if like? I mean, if she keeps going on about it. Yeah, if you were in a relationship dodgy. with a girl and you kept talk because it's the same difference, right? You kept going on about like other girls. Yeah, that's what. That's exactly yeah, what it's yeah, like. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. Well, that's a little bit, little bit. Yeah, a little bit. But if <clears throat> if that's a like, I know someone, right? Firstly. That like that demands that her boyfriend, that's not her boyfriend, calls her cum slut. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, what? Demands what? that that's what she's referred to as, and she calls him daddy. Daddy, come yeah. here, cum slut. <laughs> she, she. When he's finished, right? Oh, what oh, is fucking <laughs> take like, like. Uh, imagine like the spunks over, just like he eats it. She she does it like globules of you know it's it's awful. Glob- Anyways, what's the taste of it? Further the point, she's completely in equally into men and women. Sometimes she has more gay feeling days, sometimes more straight feeling days, and she really wants to get um a girl involved with them like loads, like like loads. And I think he's like he's going along with it, and yeah, but I. I see him developing feelings, and I, you know, strong, even though they're not going out. And I'm like, mm, is that going to get to a point where oh, he doesn't want to share her with anyone? And is that is that right? Is that how we're wired? That because we actually she, don't want anyone else to go near our partner. Well, if she had feelings for, say, girls as well, and he has feelings for her, and he sees her getting with a girl, surely it's just the same as her getting with a boy. And it's just like, oh, yeah. I don't like that. Well, yeah. That's but she's the got, I she's love. got a boyfriends in other countries. Polyamorous and that. So I don't know. It's, oh, that's a, it's an interesting one. But I always, I always think, how does that work? Because is it that someone in the relationship has got to be like, oh, yeah, I'm all right with polyamory. Polyamory. Secretly, I'm just going along with it because like I just want to be accepted by this person who is yeah. polyamorous. But And then secretly, I'm just livid. Or what? It is, it's an interest. It's a in, very interesting... It's just very interesting. Like, how do you meet other... I don't know what At sex know. parties, right? So this, um, basically, uh, there's. I actually was going to go to one. Oh, I, might, I still might go to one. It's where you all dress up in, in um, a mask, in latex. Oh, and like funny outfits like that, just funny. And, <laughs> and you go like there, and everyone's like that, and it's sort of like they. That's how them two met, just at, at that gaff, like just, just. Woo. So they all went to what? And what? Like Do you just the, go there and pick people? I don't know how it works, but everyone's clearly there because they love sex. <laughs> Why are you not going? And oh, mate, my, I've been so just like I'm, uh, my my care for just careless shagging is not that I've ever done that. Mm. <clears throat> as as really just like, I'm not asked. I'm not but asked at all. That whole 
like constantly thinking about sex. Now I'm so focused on gym, the music, and that is that is what I do. Like that is what I do, and that is like I'm so focused on that, and it makes me think like. When a man, I'm going to say a man, when a man is not, has no purpose, he finds pleasure in distractions. I fucking hell, put that on. Right? Write that on. Take, a take that, put some really like inspirational music to this. When a man has no purpose, he finds pleasure in distractions. That's on TikTok right now. Okay. Now what I mean by that is that when you're when you're focused and consumed by you feeling like you have a purpose, you've got this thing that you're so into. Those little like external extraction uh, distractions don't they don't fire you up. You don't you know they're not there because those things are often little dopamine hitters that you need to keep you going because you you lost. So yeah, I think that's what's going on with me at the moment. I'm so like in that mode of freaking like chasing goals that I'm not not needing to these extra little bits of dopamine hits from bad food and you know random girls and all that stuff because i'm freaking hyper focus yeah bro yeah interesting <laughs> i thought it was just happened i'm a legitimate buxton drinker i was seeing about how uh, tap water and shit gets made i was talking to phil my stepdad right so when we drink tap water, it just goes through bare man before you freaking drink it. You're drinking toilet water. Yeah, because you it's are shitty drink- water. So what are you saying? He's been inside the sewer. Sewer fucking works. Shit works. <laughs> like basically. <laughs> What's he doing down there? <laughs> <laughs> just hanging around. Anyways, he's. <laughs> what are you doing today, Phil? <laughs> he's going around the shit works. <laughs> <laughs> Where's he from? <laughs> no, listen, he just goes there. <laughs> On his day off. <laughs> <laughs> day trip to the shitters. Just popping out, Jen. <laughs> so he goes shit works. And basically, there, you the, the, the waste water comes in one way and it goes out as fucking drinking water. Oh, mate. You could, there and then at the shit works, the sewage, <laughs> you could fucking drink the water. And it's literally just five minutes ago being piss and shit. <laughs> and you can drink. No, it's, it's legitimate. What, they put chlorine in it? No. <laughs> No, they just they fucking fix it, and so you're based, you are legitimate. They just fix it. You you are drinking direct piss. And then to add to that, in the south coast, uh, it's full of chalk. Well, it's well allegedly the chalk doesn't come off as like bits of grain. Have you never poured your tap and your water's chalky? Yeah. Well, it's got it's misty. What's that? <laughs> it's chalk, mate. Is it chalk? No, you don't get misty water, do you? Yeah, but sometimes I'm like, oh, the bubbles, the bubbles. I don't know. <laughs> Let me close my eyes while I drink this. But even when you're drinking like Buxton water, right? That's <laughs> that's coming through mountains. That's just getting filtered through rock over years. Mate, if you go up north to these mountains, like these up to Alpens. these mountains in yeah, Alps, like in Scotland, in Alps and that, you can drink water from the the stream. Yeah, it's that clean. I stayed What's somewhere. You, in... you put your mouth in the water. And drink it. I stayed somewhere in the French Alps and uh, all <laughs> fucking Tory. <laughs> all, all the water that was at the this establishment. Like Calimo, was it? Was it? <laughs> like, oh <God>. All <laughs> the water on this property was Evian water. Oh, before yeah. it had reached the bottling yeah. station. Fucking boot it. Because <laughs> <laughs> of Buxton. We hate Evian drinkers. Oh, oh dude. Huh? Haven't I? Oh, Oi! <laughs> Actually, Look what you cunts have got. Wait, you know what the maddest thing is, y'all? Is yeah. that oh. <laughs> in Europe, yeah. guess what the best water, bottled water is to drink? Like, proven in terms of, like... Proven. Proven. In like, not just pH, like, minerals, the best. It's like a certain scale. Fiji. Voss no. water. Evian. No, it's Buxton water. No, I, wa- I, wait, I watched this program with Zac Efron when he talked about it. It's true. It's a certain, like, I can't remember what the level is, like, Scoville or something. It's like... Scoville? Some- <laughs> <Scoville. laughs> That's it's some- spicy. Yeah, but it's like the, their version of water. It's a different, like, water level, and Evian is up there with the best. Well, didn't you say it was the best? Well, yeah, but... I think Fiji might be one higher. So Fiji is... <laughs> so in, in lockdown, I bought like 24 bottles of Fiji of Amazon. That's what you just said, but Evian was the best. <laughs> like you were fully... You were back in that. <laughs> and now you just said that you actually bought 24 bottles of Fiji. Yeah, but Fiji's a bit more bougie, isn't it? I don't know, like, my I don't, white is Fiji. I think they say it wraps, don't they? Wrap it, like little pumps wraps about Fiji water. It is from Fiji as well. He's from Fiji? No, the water is... <laughs> is it? Is it? Mate, where do you think the name came from? Yeah, I fucking hope it was. Mate, 
You reckon? And the, the price water, of those bottles. The water's called Fiji. Yeah. Just like smart water's from smart. <laughs> <laughs> Just made of smarties. Yeah. What the fuck are we Oi, talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Oi, when you were younger, you actually, I actually would buy smart water. <laughs> thinking it's got like minerals that would make you smarter. It, it does. It does. Got, it's powered yeah, with electrolytes, is it not? Oh, no, I don't know about that. But like, it's got, it's got, it's got minerals and vitamins that contribute to cognitive brain health. Like, it does. But so does most mineral and vitamin <laughs> water. There's no such thing as vitamin water. Well, yeah. Well, what's it is? Look, potassium, calcium, magnesium. It's the got skull. Ingredients: nitrates, bicarbonate. I can't do it. <laughs> seven, seven point two pH, which means it's more acidic than alkaline. The other way. <laughs> what? No, 14's acidic, zero's alkaline, isn't it? I don't have a fucking Scooby. Hey, look, let me read you a little passage from the Bible. <laughs> okay, right. So this is the guide on how to get a girlfriend. Theo's going <laughs> to read another passage. The title is Dutch Courage. Oh, getting smashed. It's what you do, it? No, it's what I used to do. Okay. Uh, but don't we all? Hey, don't we all? Bit of Dutch Courage, bit of push on the old cheek. It's sad. That what? <laughs> hey, this, I'm sorry, but this book is crap. <laughs> have you seen who fucking, fucking ruined it? Have you seen the fucking guy? Him. <laughs> he is the guru. He looks well American. Sure, He's is. also written books. The Perfect Body. Workout Motivation. How to Achieve Your Fitness Goals in 2014. He's a fucking fraud. <clears throat> Dutch Courage. <laughs> it's sad that, that many girls cannot tell the difference between real confidence and induced confidence. Well, they don't know when you're pissed. Apparently so. <laughs> He's basically calling women stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Nice one, Matt. And he can't even, he's put that, that. that what is your shit? Yeah, but then he referred to like women as running from people like the plaque. Yeah, the, the plaque instead of the plague. Uh, many assholes are every bit as afraid of rejection as you are, but they over. <laughs> go, go, go. But they overcome their fears with alcohol and other substances. Oh, like, do so you just called us assholes. Well, you say, we don't do anything. We will drink. I haven't drunk in actually this year. Well, past midnight does count as this year. What? You were drinking past midnight on New Year's Eve. Oh. <laughs> if we're getting technical. See you next year. Buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shit, man. I haven't shouted since last year. Fucking <laughs> hell. <laughs> <laughs> and other substances. Yeah. Loads of, yeah. This can sometimes work against them as they become drunk and unable to control themselves. No shit. I do not personally advise anyone to go that route just because you want a girl. And if you ever do, do not become. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Whoa, hang on. <laughs> if you ever go that route, I do not advise anyone to go that route just because you want to go. And if you ever do, do not become a drunk tard or addicted. <laughs> the saddest part of Dutch courage is addiction. If you are not ready to go there, please do not go. I've been there. <laughs> You're a drug card. <laughs> I do fucking it, hate people that make drinking boring. It's not the best you know place I mean? to be. I'll oh. fucking grow up, mate. Have a laugh. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, like, he's making it sound like anyone don't that drinks dr has a problem, which don't, is mate, not okay. No, no, no. He's saying being only being able to talk to girls when you're drunk, drunk tarded and you've had beers and, and you shit. Don't, you don't want to be a drunk tard. No, 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 no. You don't want to be drunk tarded and you don't want to be a dick. But he also called everyone arseholes who drink to get girls. <laughs> 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 You've never done that. Why are you trembling? Well, everyone's done it. We'll no, we've all done it. Yeah. I think. I think you know, especially to build up confidence. At first, Dutch courage is not actually the worst thing. No, but if you if you have to rely on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a friend who was part of a church choir. Ooh. <laughs> church friend. He was the drama. <laughs> yeah. When he plays on a Sunday, a camera zooms in on. <laughs> what is this? Why have they got drums in the church, by the way? When he plays on a Sunday, a camera zooms in on him for the very large congregation to see. Cool, yeah. Is it? On our way cool. home after church service, we meet a lot of girls who say hi to him just because they saw him on the big screen. Drumming in the church. church. <laughs> okay, yeah. So many girls want his attention, then he treats them like diapers. <laughs> <laughs> he goes for another one every new month. He doesn't sound very holy. This guy sounds like a twat. He's, he's definitely like the jock. Yeah, he, even oh, look, it's Marty. Even the blurb on the back. <laughs> yeah, hello, Mikey. Mikey. Oh, hey, Mikey. Oh, hey, Mikey. You guess me. <laughs> the blurb on the back goes. 
In this book, you'll also find out how to put a woman under your spell. What fucking Why trap? Why begging then? her for her attention when you can just cast her under your spell? What the fuck? Coerce her and shit. That's Instead awful. of you fighting for and begging them to accept you into their lives, you can turn the table and make them fight for your attention. Oh, another toxic trait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this... this guy's well, can, th- I don't think this is the Bible. It's quite funny, though. It is quite funny, yeah. <laughs> fucking Matt the twat. Has anyone, like, legitimately bought a book like this to, like, try and actually get... Oh, I used to book- Google, like, how do you have more confidence with girls? How to, you know, get girls to understand you? And then once you realise they're just human beings and there's... If you don't differentiate them... Like that. Oh, <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. Like, don't differentiate them in terms of, like, oh, my God, there's these species that are, like, oh, my God. Yep. I put them on a pedestal. Then you just talk to them like humans. They and just you talk realize to them as a friend. Just talk as a friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, yeah. What the fuck are NFTs, mate? I'll be, I keep trying to. Okay, let me see let me tell you. Can you and like, so right now he's gonna fucking let us all know because so many of us are sitting there like, what the fuck? What do you fuck? In the most basic terms, I'm pretty sure. An NF- Don't say non fungible token. Because that's all that. NFT that, stands for. No, but that's all no, they I say. We know- I didn't know what that actually meant. Oh, for fuck. An oh. NFT is. Artwork you buy online, just like real life, an art piece can go up, it can go down in value. People collect real art, and now they're collecting online art. Yeah, but why is it going for millions of dollars? Bro? Why does artwork go for millions of dollars? Because it's actually fucking been handcrafted. This is a fucking... Mate, this is 2022. Mate, think about it, buddy. Lord of <gasps> Star, Star Wars was created by film, handcrafted piece of cinematography. Yeah. Nowadays, you've got fucking Interstellar Yeah, but it's been CGI. fucking years have gone into effort of making this masterpiece. Mate, just draw a, just make draw it, a Hasbilla as well, Ethan Bazinga and you're sorted. No, but I just don't know, but why, why is it going for so much? Is it like a giant Ponzi scheme? Do you know what Ponzi schemes are? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, where it's all gonna, it's just going to collapse in the end. People are p- putting pretend value on this stuff and eventually it's all just going to go... Yeah, pfft. but there is... And someone eventually is going to lose a lot of money. All, it's very simple. It's very simple. All it is is a real world art that's just gone digital. Just like everything in the world. So why does everyone now want this digital art? And why, like, because why, why does Because big time celebs are now tweeting about it and seeing how much money they're making. Like Logan Paul tweeted out, bought one for 200k, sold it for 650. Oh, yeah, it, it, it's not a Ponzi scheme, but it's very hyped at the moment and yeah. people are going to lose a lot of money yeah, because things go like this with hype and then hype dies off and they go When's down. it going to go down? Who knows? When's crypto going down? Will it ever go down? Well, down right now. Well, it is. Yeah, it's like gone big, the fucking Bitcoin's floor. Like I decided, down. Mate, I logged into my Binance yesterday just to, just to, you know, check how we're doing. Never do that. Oh, we're still down. Oh, yeah, I'm down 50%. Yes, oh. yeah. <laughs> Did I, you see KSI tweeted out how much he'd lost? Uh, he lost? He, he was leverage trading, though. What does that mean? Essentially, like, uh, you trade with a certain amount of money, which say, like, £10,000. That's collateral. The broker will essentially let you try trade with, like... a. Th- a hundred thousand pounds if you use 10x leverage but then if your position lost already oh if your position then yeah, is down yeah. by ten thousand pounds your money is taken out like yeah. because that's wiped out and the broker take their money back yeah so your whatever you put up is collateral collateral so damage you put five mil up over time yeah Jesus Christ. so five million imagine losing five mil how much money do you have to have well that mate, to just be yeah, lost well five they just mil. launched prime so how much do you reckon that's gonna be worth? How much do you reckon that's already worth? It's disgusting. Do you reckon yeah. they're gonna eventually sell it? Like what? What? In my mind, they're gonna make it to be this huge thing, <clears throat> and then sell it to Coca Cola or something. Yeah, they're gonna sell it because because you gotta remember, right? In order for this to be like say a long term thing, like long long term, these are surely guys that are gonna find other passions that are even bigger. Is mm. is running a water bottle company, energy drink, gonna be the height of their passion when say like for Logan? big film deals come along and Mate, all that. They don't need to run it. Oh yeah, they've got other people. It runs itself. Granted. They could. They, uh, it wouldn't surprise me that in 10 years time, 15 years time, they sell it to Coke for a billion quid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I think they're going down. They want to build it up, make it so valuable, billion, and sell it to like the I think they could already sell it for these, uh, just disgusting. These two are like 200 mil right now. These are two smart yeah, individuals, right? Say. They're starting yeah. this purely for business. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, let's be real. They might have a passion for like creating the best things, but I, I don't, I think we can all agree they probably don't have a passion for energy drinks, <laughs> but like, I'm sure they're going into this wanting to be the best, but yeah. they're, they're very smart people. They're doing this because they know that down the line, 
someone like Coca-Cola is going to come in and be like, we'll take this off your hands yeah, and yeah. give them yeah. millions. At least yeah, yeah, as well, yeah, yeah, there yeah, isn't yeah. some random bullshit thing. It's actually a thing that they can, like they're both pretty sporty people so they can use it themselves. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. It's an, it does work with their brands personally. Yeah, I agree. Legitimate. <clears throat> 100 brother. So well, is that where we're at? Done so? I need to piss. Is there anything Yeah, should we, should we wrap? Okay. I, I'm happy to. If, you're, if, you, if you boys are happy. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy to. Do you want a closing yeah. statement from Mal- Closing statement from Malfoy from the Bible. If you follow all the steps mentioned in this book, getting a girlfriend should be a challenge for you. <laughs> oh, what? Should or shouldn't? <laughs> should be a challenge. So you read this book and it should still fucking be hard. <laughs> the method... Congratulations, you Mate, he's actual money. S- he's a... He's a... S- Booty, d- it's spooty, it's spooty, spooty. He's a fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry, he's actually spelled everything wrong in this book. Because he then goes on to say, the methods are not difficult right. to put into action. It's even fun doing it, so why should it be a oh, fucking moron? <laughs> Knowledge is power, only when you make use of it. It will take a little bit of time to ease into these methods, but as time goes on, they'll become second nature. May- make... Make use of the knowledge you have today and see a load of girls flocking to you. Oh. He's a fucking moron. Sorry, yeah. Matt Braden. Twat. Oh, no, we don't know about his life and who he actually is. Say the right thing. Nah, Say he's conned people. Like He's conned them. I mean, look at that photo. Is. He's got it on Google. <laughs> <laughs> look at the haircut. It looks like he printed it in his fucking bedroom as well. Like, he's not even bothered to spell check. Yeah, that's that's but That, 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 that. <laughs> you should that. and shouldn't. No, I use spell check. Legitimate. At you. Anyways, you lot, we hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like creative. <laughs> leave a like rating. Five stars on Spotify. Just rate us, man. Like, show your friends. Put yeah, it man. in the group chat. Be like, look, the Waffling Boys are good lads. Fucking send it to the boys and the girls. And the non-binder is anyone else. We'll see you in the next one. From the Waffling Mafia to the Waffling Mafia. Bye.